Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. Happy Saturday. I wanted to pop on really quick and talk about proteins and protein powders and different products like that because I get a ton of questions on it from women every day. And it's really important that you're looking at something for your overall body and when to get it in if you're gonna be implementing some type of supplement or additive for your nutrition. So. Here we go. When we talk about proteins, there's a few things to really understand. When you look at, you know, the health industry and the fitness industry and all these other things, guess what? Everything out there is designed and research is done on men, which I talk about in my book, The Female Fat Solution, um, which is just on Amazon. I have a whole chapter on how everything health-wise is geared towards men and how women should be really focusing on doing nutrition and everything for their bodies, their physiology, everything else. It's very, very different. The female body shifts and changes throughout the month. Our bodies react to stress so differently. So why would we be following a plan that's designed for men? That's gonna make us frustrated, that's gonna not allow us to get the right results or not feel our most energetic, our most strong, our most, Christy, you love the book. Thank you, Christy, yay! Um, so really, really important. I also have a podcast the female health solution where I talk about a lot of different subjects pertaining to women's health. And then I do a lot of my videos on YouTube as well. Um, so, and all this, I work with women one-on-one -on -one in my 12 week program to really help women get the most out of their health. So I'll include a link below. If you are curious or wondering or have questions on any of the info I cover, you can click that link and schedule a call. I'd be more than happy to chat with you on just some different tips or tri tricks to navigate to get you feeling better and healthier. My mission is to give women this info to get you to your healthiest point all the time. So many times we feel like we are, you know, playing catch up or trying to, you know, get ahead of the game or we're, you know, whereas we're reactive, right? My goal is to get women information so you're proactive, you're ahead of it already, and you're in charge of your own health. It's amazing when that shift and change happens. Yay! So you can schedule a call, we can chat about this, but I'm gonna go through this info. Um, and if you're finding this helpful, or if you learned something, I would love, love, love it if you would click that share button. Because again, women don't know this. Again, women don't know that, oh my gosh, all these products and things on the market, oh, they look really good. Oh, this is so fantastic. Oh, look, this thing, it says it's for women. Okay, tiny, tiny rant, tiny rant. <sighs> look at me, I'm trying to like not get angry and start sweating right now. <clears throat> in the industry, and I heard somebody else say this, This is so this is not my phrasing, but they were talking about how when they make products for women, since all the research is done on men and all these products are formulated for men, when they make a product for women because they want to sell more of it, they pink it and shrink it. They literally put pink on the label and then they make it smaller. And then there it's for a female. What? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, everything. They make it look cuter or they make it look like the packaging different and then they make it a little bit smaller or they say that the serving size is smaller for women and I wanna be like, that is such BS. I'm gonna try and keep it PG this morning, people. BS, right? So when we look at all these things, it's really, really important. Oh, Leslie, can you go into why reading the label isn't enough? Yes, Leslie, I will because they don't have to put things on the label. Um, so when I go through these things and talk about what's important for women, if you've read other things, if you've read other articles, if you've read, you know, nutrition labels, things like that, it's not going to say the same thing necessarily because that's geared for men. That's for men, right? Just because it's in a smaller package or just because it says, oh, this is for females, ah, uh, doesn't mean it really is, <laughs> Right? That's not, that's not how it works. It's like the, it's like um, razors, right? All you ladies out there, shaving razors, right? They make it pink and they charge $3 more for it. Mm, and it's, is it higher quality? No, not really, right? It's, it's one of those things where you're like, this is ridiculous. <sighs> so instead of pinking it and shrinking it, we're just gonna talk about what's really important for the female body to get in, in terms of protein. Now, do you have to use a protein supplement? No, you don't have to. You can absolutely get your fuel from whole foods. It's just really tough to be consistent with it. And for females, the important thing, the most important thing is consistency. I would rather you supplement with a protein and be consistent than be hit and miss with whole food. Why? Because that's not consistent for your body and it stresses your body out. So I use protein, I use powders, I use bars, I make protein balls, I do all this other fun stuff, um, which I do have a new recipe book, by the way, it's on my professional page, my Dr. Beth Westy page, um, where you can get a, just my whole recipe book of protein balls and fat bombs, it's awesome. 
but you need to get to these levels every day. So that's why this is important. <clears throat> End rant. Here we go. <laughs> so making sure you're getting enough protein in a protein powder. When you're reading the label, you need to hit on these things, but there's sort of a combination of things to watch and look for. Um, it needs to be at least 20 grams of protein, but usually more. Why? Because it takes at least 20 grams to upload protein into the muscle tissue to start protein muscle synthesis. Anything less and it's not, it's not adequate. So when you see things and it's like, oh, this protein shake for women, blah, blah, blah. And it's got 12 grams of protein or 16 grams of protein. Okay, great. But you're going to have to add to that shake to make it at least 20 grams so that your muscle tissue is actually getting it. It's crazy. And why is this important? Because otherwise your body's not getting enough fuel. Without this amount, your body's not getting the fuel it needs and you're not going to get the right result. So at least 20 grams of protein, but usually more, then you're going to be getting enough. And, and this is just my opinion too, in looking at the industry overall, if you're getting something with less than 20 grams of protein, they're putting other crap and fillers in it and you're wasting your money. You know, have some eggs, you know, have some Greek yogurt, have a cup of Greek yogurt. You know, if you're going to spend the money on a protein powder, it should stand alone. It should be mixed with water. It should taste okay. And it should be enough nutrient for your body by itself. Otherwise, just <laughs> buy, spend your money on food instead, right? Um, so the other thing too is with the carbs. There should be a carb. Women need to have a complete nutrient, protein, fat, carb, connected together. Without it being a complete nutrient, you are not doing your body a service because you're actually depleting it in a lot of nutrition areas. If you have a, de and I've done videos where I talk about depletion and how that affects the female body. And say you have one shake that does that, um you know, oh, that's not terrible. But if you're doing this consistently, that's why it's, um, then you're not, then you're not getting enough in and uploaded is way good for us or not. Tell us more. Oh yes. Okay. I'll talk on the <clears throat> ingredients down here more. So overall, when you're looking at something, but keep in mind when you look at a label, those, those labels are designed for a 44 year old healthy male. That's what labels are made for. It says it right there on the FDA website. I did not I did not come up with that. I did not create that. It is literally there. Google it. Like, so labels are, every label is made for a 44 year old healthy male. <laughs> Have you ever seen a man in a grocery store checking all the labels? Mm -mm. Women do that. Women do that. So having pr the higher protein, having at least the same or less amount of carb, you do not want it too much sugar in there, but then also having some healthy fats. Um, that's essential too. So having this whole composition to really upload into your system, you need carb to upload protein. So for those of you that are like, ah, you're not supposed to have carb in a shake. That is not good. That's different if you're doing one post-workout. This is for, I need to get more protein throughout my day. I need to increase my nutrients and have nutrient-dense food. You need to have carb in there. Otherwise, your body's not uploading the most amount of protein it could. It just can't. Physiologically, this is how the body works. I don't care what your shake says. You can have the fanciest shake label ever, but if it doesn't have the right composition, your body will not absorb it because that's how physiology works. <laughs> so, yes. So all these things are essential for the body, for metabolism to get the best result ever. Now, other things that you do not want in your shake, you do not want fillers. So I really have a hard time trusting things that are over the counter because I actually worked with a formulator for over a year to create my own protein because I wanted to. And it was a ridiculous process. Ridiculous. The way that they formulate stuff to have it be on the shelf and then what you're getting out of it is it just, it all, it like, it doesn't make sense. Like, why would you create this product to, and put crap in it and put fillers in it for people to buy if it's not going to be the right thing for them? Profit. That's why. Because the company needs to make a profit. So they will do all these marketing tactics. They will say all these things on there. And it's just ridiculous because it doesn't, it doesn't actually serve the body the best. So you really need to be careful because there are so many products out there that are full of fillers and junk and garbage that are gonna interrupt your natural ability to upload and process those nutrients. So all these nutrients that you're trying to get in, if you have junk and fillers in your, in your supplements, if you have artificial sugars, artificial sweeteners, it actually destroys your gut microflora, which means all those bacteria and all that probiotic you wanna get in your system, artificial sweeteners destroy that. And they have those in, um, 
in shakes a lot of the time as fillers. Boo fillers, right, KB? Yes, you do not want artificial stuff in your system. It, it makes a huge difference overall. And for women, it'll stress your system out more. Yes, company greed and society falls for it. Yes, mm -hmm. right, Allie? Totally, totally. So really make sure that there's no fillers in there. Do they put fillers on the label all the time? No, so here's where the sneaky part comes in why you can't always trust labels. That you really need to do either research on companies or follow systems or things that actually have done independent third party studies. That's key, independent third party studies. A company will let a third party test their stuff and say, here's what's actually in it. Then you know that they're actually putting a quality product out there on the market. Um, so that's a, that's a really big thing because, uh, because it's so profitable. It's just, it's so, so profitable. They do the same thing with supplements too. It's not just with protein powders or protein bars. It's the same thing in supplements and across the board. You need to be careful about what you're putting in your body. Otherwise it's going to backfire on you. And for women who are already stressed out, who already have hormone issues and all these other things, it's going to backfire even more. You're going to feel like garbage. You're going to feel like, oh my God, my stomach hurts. Oh, this is not... Oh, I'm not getting energy from this. Mm -hmm. Then it's not the right thing. <laughs> then it's not the right thing. So really, really be conscious of that. Um, yeah, and they don't have to put it on the labels. So they can label it as things like a natural flavor. Oh, this dandelion powder is a natural flavor. Oh, you mean it's a really cheap like weed that you can put in your product that makes you it makes it three times more profitable? Oh, good, good but it's a natural flavor. The other thing that I've seen companies do, which is actually dangerous for people with food allergies and food sensitivities, is that they will um, not list the food on the ingredients, but they'll hide it in like a natural flavor or something like that, and and they'll hide it in, in there. Um, soy and fillers equals bloated, yes. The other thing that I really don't recommend, especially for women, is soy. Soy is the largest protein molecule in our human diet. So you literally cannot break it down to a point where your body can upload and use it. So if you're getting a protein in and it's soy protein and it's 20 grams, you're not going to absorb 20 grams of protein. It's going to irritate your gut lining and your body can't break it down to absorb it. I mean, it's going to absorb some, but not as much as it was if it was a different product, right? So what are my favorite types of proteins? Um, I love whey protein because, a clean whey protein, um, grass-fed is really, really important, a grass-fed whey protein. It is uploading into the muscles as quickly as possible and therefore muscle repair and rejuvenation. So that's really, really key. If you're getting a really high quality whey protein, there's actually little to no lactose in it. So in terms of it being dairy or not, if you're doing it right, there's gonna be, um, you know, no issues there. Uh, is there such a thing as good soy? So soy is soy. It doesn't matter if it's fermented. It doesn't matter if it's whatever. I mean, if it's fermented, then there's gonna be like a probiotic kind of thing in there. But overall, like you can't, it's, it's the molecule. It's, you know, when you chew your food and break it down, your body absor absorbs these nutrients because it, it's, it, the tinier it is, the easier it's uploaded. And soy is like huge compared to a lot of the other protein molecules that are tiny. So no, there's no good soy. It doesn't matter if it's cold washed. I don't care if it's fermented. I don't, I don't care. It's soy. It's like, oh, this is, you know, like this piece of poop. It's like, oh, but it's organic. It's still a piece of poop. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, so grass fed whey is my favorite, is my favorite. And, um, I really like to incorporate that, especially for women during the warming phase, because that is going to really help your body, um, increase its temperature and everything else and get a different result there. Um, and then there's other things too, like vegan or plant-based proteins. Absolutely be very, very careful with plant-based proteins because they will try and sneak in soy if it's over the counter. They will try to sneak in soy if, if, um, because it's so cheap. It, it is. It's so cheap and fast to grow and use in products. It is. Um, so you really, <laughs> poop is poop. I know, right? <laughs> um, so, but hemp proteins, pea proteins, rice proteins, things like that. Really small molecules, really easy to upload and easy on the stomach. And I recommend doing those, especially during the estrogen phase so that your body um, incorporates that cooling part as well. And I talk about that more in my book, um, but that's really what you're looking for overall, like a general broad overview with proteins. Focus on what you need and what's, what's right for you. 
if you're trying to work out or you're starting to work out and you're like, hmm, maybe I should get more protein, da 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 da, da I don't really know what to get. I'm gonna include that link, click the link and chat with me. I, it's, you can get lost in the world of proteins and products. Trust me, I did for like a year and a half because I was trying to make my own. Um, but it's really important you're getting the right thing for your body. Every body is different. Your goals are gonna be different. How you're responding to exercise or, or all these other things is gonna be different than somebody else. So it's essential that you're thinking about the bigger scope of things versus, oh look, this looks cute, you know, right? That's what the companies want you to think. Seriously, they pink it and shrink it and they sell it to women. And it is a bunch of hot garbage. Look at me get mad. I'm sweating now. I'm sweating. Now. <laughs> anyway, so this is what I got for you. Please let me know if you guys have questions. Please, please, please share this video. There are so many people who don't know a lot of this information and don't know that it could help them in a big, big way get to the results a lot easier and a lot faster. So that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you have questions and I will chat with you later.